Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be uh, correcting your worksheets from throughout the week. So this is the first worksheet that you had. Um, the first exercise, you need to convert uh, these units of measurement uh, into this. So here we have to take 2.3 kilograms to grams. So to go from kilograms to grams, that means we need to multiply this by a thousand and 2.3 times a thousand gives me 2,300. Next, we need to uh, go from 5,678 grams into kilograms. So we need to divide this by a thousand, which would give us five point Six hundred and seventy-eight. Next, we have fourteen point two tons into kilograms. Means we need to multiply this by thousand. So fourteen thousand two hundred kilograms. Next up, we have ninety-five kilograms into tons. Means that we need to divide this by thousand, which is going to give us zero point zero ninety-five tons. Next up, 45 grams into kilograms means we got to divide this by a thousand. So we'll get 0 0.045 kilograms. Next up, 3.5 tons into kilograms. So we're going to multiply 3.5 by a thousand. We're going to get 3,500. <coughs> Next up, we have problems. The rest of these basically problems so let's get solving the gross weight of a jar of honey is 0 0.987 kilograms the weight of the honey is 850 grams how many grams does the jar weigh okay so uh, here what you're gonna need to do is since it asks uh, it asks you to give an answer in grams you are definitely going to have to convert this in kilograms into grams. To do that, we are going to say 0 0.987 kilograms is equal to uh, this times a thousand grams. So 987 grams would be the correct answer. Uh, and it tells, us, it tells us that this is the gross weight, right? It tells us the weight of the honey, which would be the net weight. And it's asking us how much the jar weighs, meaning that's the tear weight. So to find the tear weight, I need to find the difference between the gross weight, so 987, and the net weight, so 850. Which means that we need to do 987 minus 850, which makes 137. Yes, and this is in grams. So that is the weight of the jar. So if I want to be absolutely correct, I would write the jar weighs 137 grams. We should write that. That should be our answer. We shouldn't just leave it at this because uh, someone might not understand what we meant by that. So we should write that. Next up, the net weight of olives in a barrel is 499 kilograms. The weight of the barrel is 69,000 grams. How many kilos is the gross weight? So since it's asking about the gross weight, it means we've got to add these two together. Uh, and because it's asking specifically for kilograms, that means we need to turn this into kilograms. If you didn't, like if you got this answer in kilograms, or if you give this answer in grams, I mean, that's fine, really, as long as you understand the concept. So first, let's turn this into kilograms. Uh, so we're going to say 69,000 grams is equal to how many kilograms? This divided by 1,000, so just 69 kilograms. And to find the gross weight, we need to find the sum 
uh, of these two weights. So 499 plus 69, which will give us 568 kilograms. So my answer should be the gross weight is 568 kilograms. And that's the first worksheet. If you want to check your answers, you can go right ahead and pause the video right now. Next up, problem number one. Problem number one says, the crate together with the apples it contains weighs 19 kilograms. The crate weighs 920 grams. How many kilos do the apples weigh? So, since we know the weight together with the apples, that's the gross weight, so that's 19 kilograms. Then the crate weighs 920 kilograms, uh, sorry, grams, sorry about that. So that would be the tear weight. And then we're being asked for the apples, which is the net weight. And they want, uh, the problem wants specifically kilograms. So, we're gonna do 19 kilograms, minus this in kilograms. So 920 grams is equal to this divided by a thousand, so 0 0.92 kilograms. And again, the gross weight will be the sum between those two. So 19 plus 0 0.92, which gives us, uh, sorry, not the sum. What am I saying? The difference. We want the net weight, so that means we got to find the difference. So 19 minus 0 0.92, which will give us 18.08, .08, and this is in kilograms. Right. Okay. So we would say that the apples weigh 18.08 kilograms, and that's my answer. Next up, an empty truck weighs 1.3 tons. It carries packages with bottled water that weigh 3,750 kilograms. How many tons is the gross weight? So immediately, since it's asking about the gross weight, we gotta, we gotta add these two. Because it wants the answer in tons, we've got to turn this into tons. Each package weighs 10 kilograms. How many packages does the truck carry? Okay, so first let's answer A. First, we're going to turn this into tons. So I'd say 3,750 kilograms is equal to this divided by 1,000. So 3.75 tons, right? And then I would, since it's asking about the gross weight, I would add this with this. So I'd say 1.3 plus 3.75. And what I would get is 5.05 tons. So we would say that Gross weight is 5.05 tons. Next up, each package weighs 10 kilograms. How many packages does the truck carry? So we said that the packages, the overall weight of the packages is, so if I put all the packages together, that's 3,750 kilograms. So if each one weighs 10, I have to think, well, how many to get this much? Which means we want to separate this into tens, which sounds like division. So we need to do 3,700 for B. We're going to need to do 3,750 divided by 10, which is equal to 375. So my answer should be truck is carrying 
375 packages. Next up, we bought chocolate syrup in a pack of 10 bottles. The one bottle has a gross weight of 445 grams and a tear weight of 95 grams. How many grams is the net weight of the bottle? Okay, and how many kilos is the net weight of the whole package? So first we gotta find how much chocolate syrup is in one bottle. And we gotta do that in grams. And then we need to find uh, how many, we need to find how much chocolate syrup is in the 10 bottles, which we have to do in kilograms. So, let's start with the chocolate syrup in just one bottle. So here, we are being told that the gross weight is 445 grams, and the tear weight is 95 grams which means we need to subtract these two to get the net weight of chocolate syrup. So we need to do four, thankfully they're both already in grams, so I'm just gonna subtract. And this is going to give us 355 grams. So we'll write here the net weight of one bottle is 355 grams. For B, we know the net weight of one bottle, so we want to find 10, and we want to do it in kilograms. So we first need to turn this into kilograms, so we're going to say 355 grams equals how many kilograms? This divided by 1,000, which would be 0 0.355 kilograms. And then we gotta say, well, since I want a, a package has 10 of these bottles, I need to multiply this by 10, which would give me 3.55 kilograms. So my answer should be the net weight of the package is 3.5555 kilograms. And that's all your worksheets for this week. I hope you have a good weekend. Do your homework. And see you again on Monday. Bye.